love this color. It's such a pretty color. Oh, such a beautiful auburn. They don't have any really bright reds or actually true reds, honestly, in the John Murray line. They all tend to be auburns and this 27 MD is no exception. It's a really pretty auburn color. Gonna take that internal patching off. I can tell this one's got a little bit of cold crimping going on too. We'll see how bad it is when I put it on. Okay, I can see that this, ooh, this has some very pretty, very shaggy and layered down here at the bottoms. Let me see if I can get this all in here. This is all really, really, really unevenly cut and I can see that even with it inside out like this. So you can see that this one has a similar cap construction to the one I am wearing, which is the Ariana and the Claire, which was the curly brunette one that I showed you second. So you can see that this one has metal here. It has a temple temple lace front. There is a seam. All these wigs are gonna have a seam between the lace front and the monofilament top, with the exception of the first one. The first one I showed you, which I believe is Little Miss Parker here. Um, she has a monofilament part, and because of that, there's no seam between that lace front and the monofilament section here on the side. All of these lace front mono top wigs though are gonna have this seam. If that seam bums you out, just wear a wig liner. It tends to take care of it. You can also use a little bit of foundation or concealer to help with that too. I keep hugging it because I'm like, oh, she's so pretty. So um, we have wefts here on the sides, back, right? Velcro adjusters, I may have covered that already. The hair on this feels so sleek. Like all of these wigs have felt like quite a bit of hair. Um, Parker was a little flat on top, poofy on the sides. It's kind of the trend right now. So if anything, I just think that she's very, you know, fashionable, though I wouldn't necessarily call that like the most flattering of uh, shapes for me personally. Um, and then all, all of these, like this one here has a ton of hair on it this Ariana. It's very thick and full. It will settle a little bit over time, but this just is luscious, has a ton of hair. Princess, mermaid, it's everything. Um, and then this one, of course, the Claire we talked about, because she's curly, she's gonna have some va boom potential for sure. I think this one's gonna be the exact opposite. These ends, and it's longer in the front. See, when I turn it to the side, but this has um, a gradation to it. It is slightly graduated. It is a little longer in the front, but it's very, very shattered at the bottoms and shaggy. Very beautiful, silky straight texture. This hair feels fantastic. And the synthetic hair on this, even though it's the same, you know, material, the way it's treated, the way it makes it feel like it's just been flat ironed, makes it so sleek that it feels pretty magnificent to the touch. This one is the best feeling of the three in terms of tactile feel. All right, let's go ahead and put her on. Got a poker straight, flat ironed texture. I love the deconstructed ends. So even though this one took a little bit of TLC at first to get it wearable, I think that it was easy to do. It took me less than five minutes. And this one is so natural looking. 